shouldn't have started this as you're going around the roundabout. Hello everyone, welcome to a new weekly vlog. I hope you're all doing well. This week is the week that we're gonna try and finish our bedroom renovation and makeover, which is pretty exciting. Right now we are just on our way to go and look at getting some new curtains. When we were doing up our spare room, we looked into getting new curtains for the spare room, our bedroom and our office, which are all the same curtains. Um, but we couldn't find any that we really liked. And the ones that we did find that we liked, they did a pretty terrible job at keeping the light out. The ones that we have in there at the moment, they're not really our taste and they don't fit with the theme of the room, but they are good at like keeping the room nice and dark. So we're gonna go and check out some more curtains and hopefully buy some of them. I have also purchased some bedside tables. So um, I asked and I think like my weekly vlog a couple weeks ago what kinds of bedside tables we should get for our bedroom um, and a lot of people either said white or like a light wood color um, my preference I think did change to be a light wood color but I couldn't find any in that color in the style that we like so we've gone for some white ones from an online store called Mocha um, I'll either show you them later on in this video if they arrive or when I eventually do a room tour. So today is Tuesday the 3rd of July. Just excuse the mess in the background. These are the curtains that are going in our bedroom that I'm just waiting for them to drop out a little bit um, before I then iron them and hang them up. Um, and then also, this is also our mattress. Um, I don't know what we did. I think when we did up the spare room, we put the mattress, <laughs> can you see Soupy? We put the mattress that uh, is on the spare bed in my office. But this time there's like a bunch of other junk in my office. So our mattress has just been living in a plastic bag in our uh, lounge for the last wee while. But these are the reason that I am talking to you guys right now. Um, these are the bedside tables that I mentioned a while ago, well like <laughs> a couple days ago. That I ordered um so I thought it might be kind of cool to do a bit of an unboxing um obviously they come flat packs I'm also going to build one and uh show you what they look like okay so one down one to go this by the way is called the jolt bedside table from Mocha it looks kind of similar to ones that we've had um in England from Ikea before but I'm all about that because those were good bedside tables so yay now we just have to finish the room so we can put them in July and things are coming together which is very exciting so I haven't filmed it but uh, these walls have now all been painted white either I have already started on the soft furnishing so I just put up the curtains which look very exciting and um, we've also taken off some of uh, the slight plasticky stuff that we had all over the floor um, because I didn't want any dust that was on that stuff dragging on the bottom of the curtains but Things are starting to come together and it's feeling like it's a proper bedroom again. Um, if we get the two coats of the grey done today, then technically we'll be able to move back in tomorrow, which is really exciting. Also, my camera is about to die, but I just want to quickly show you. I also bought a new mirror. It's just from Kmart. It looks like this, but we're hoping that we can take this back part off and it can go on the wall. Okay, we're back. My camera died, but what I wanted to show you was the mirror. So hello, there's me. This is what it looks like. It's massive, which I really like, especially compared to this one, which is the one that I used to have here, um, which is absolutely tiny in comparison. And because it's in like this little alcove behind the door, um, there's not much like natural light that gets into it. And having a tiny mirror meant that basically I never used it because if ever I needed to like do my makeup or whatever, I couldn't actually see what I was doing because the mirror was too dark. So now I've got this big one and it's so exciting. Nick managed to get the back off it. So he's just gonna hang it on the wall now. And I am gonna actually start on dinner because we are having a roast tonight, which I'm really excited about. Um, but it also means that I've got a lot of veggie prep to do. Uh, I think while I do that, once Nick has hung the mirror, he's also gonna start painting. So the reason that we haven't done that today is because Nick finished doing the last coat of the white paint last night. And because this is going to be a feature wall, we obviously want to make sure that the line in the corner of the room, wait, yeah, oh, that's kind of the corner. <laughs> the line between the corner of the room from like the white to the gray is really nice and crisp. So we bought this special masking tape, which is supposed to help with getting like 
really nice clean lines but it says if you're going to use it on fresh paint you have to wait at least 24 hours and uh yeah we did this yesterday so we've had to wait a bit but we still have all day tomorrow as well so things are definitely going to get done <laughs> Alright, so this is what our roast looks like. We've got some gravy over there, we've got some beer, there's a soupy, and we're gonna keep watching the staircase. Okay, Nick is about to do the first cut in with our grey paint. Ooh. I don't wanna get any closer because we're also filming a time lapse on the GoPro, so I've just zoomed in on my camera. But uh, this colour isn't actually representative of what the final colour looks like, it actually dries a lot darker than that. But exciting! Nick and I also just had a bit of a self timer photo shoot. Um, my sister is building our wedding website and she asked if we had any photos of ourselves that she could use on the website and we didn't really have any really. We're not really big photo people so we just had a little bit of a mini photo shoot which was well awkward but I think we got some cute shots. This photo in particular is one of my favourites because it's the perfect uh, example of our relationship. Nick and I love Subi so much and she couldn't really give two shits. I do also like this one because it looks like Subi and I are having a moment and Nick's just hanging out in the background. Now though, the cuteness is over. It's out of my nice clothes and back into DIY and painting clothes so we can get the other coat on this wall and then also give the house a big clean for the new week. is officially done this is all you get to see because I'm gonna do a room tour so I want it to be a surprise for that but it looks so different from what it used to look like I think also because we got like new bedside tables and then we upcycled the other beds so it just looks like a completely new room but I'm really happy with how it looks I can't wait to show you guys uh, I guess thank you for coming along on this journey with us it's been a journey and a half but now that we're done we can completely focus on the bathroom sure. which is pretty exciting um so yeah stay tuned for more diys coming hopefully after we've had a bit of a rest i hope you all had a really good week and i will see you all later on bye